Hello everybody, welcome back to Kelvin's Coin TV. My name is Ross. We are continuing Archibald's campaign. We're doing scenario nine, finding the ultimate crown. Find the crown before Roland's heroes find it. Archibald will need the crown for the final battle with Roland. Uh, we're starting as the Necromancer, so let's get to it. We got Rialdo the Necromancer. I like Rialdo. Very handsome man. We're gonna need cash for this, so uh, let's get our statue going. Build up our tourism a little bit. So uh, in this scenario, usually I say screw zombies. I think we actually need them for this one because we are we're trapped in here. We're trapped in here for now. We're gonna have to fight our way out. Oh, both of these are dreadful. I'll take mysticism though. Uh, mysticism's not dreadful, but pathfinding. We're in this. The sandy bit. It's really difficult to move uh, through it. We're going to need to do that. So give us lots of crystal. Lots of crystal for this one. So we're going to have to be trading, I think. Build that graveyard now. This time we're actually going to be recruiting zombies, like I said. Give me those gems. We're looking at our first obelisk. Come upon an obelisk made from a type of stone you have never seen before. Staring at it intensely, the smooth surface suddenly changes to an inscription. The inscription is a piece of a lost ancient map. Quickly, you copy down the piece and the inscription vanishes as abruptly as it had appeared. So, these obelisks are spread out all throughout the map. They're going to tell us where the ultimate artifact is. It's buried in the ground somewhere on this map, and we don't know where. In this scenario, every time you play it, it randomizes the location. Only the obelisks know. But let's see what it shows us. Okay, so we got our first puzzle piece. So we have to find a lot of obelisks to find out where it is. It's usually in the center of the puzzle, marked by a green X. Uh, you would move your hero over that X and you would click on dig. It takes an entire day to dig and it uses all your movement so you need to start a fresh day oh this is a good artifact oh no you come upon an ancient artifact as you reach for it a pack of rogues leap out the brush leap out leap out of the brush to guard their stolen loot i knew this was gonna happen <laughs> this is not the first time i played this scenario why did i go for it so stupid this is blinded by the power of the artifact hopefully 17 skeletons can drop 10 oh, okay they can Ooh, scary stuff oh shnikes this is the new round i should have cast haste on my zombos i think they go last anyway yes leo it is and uh we're gonna write our own our own history. Oh crap. Well <laughs> Um uh, uh, That was so stupid. We can't re recruit Rialdo? Ugh, he had the pathfinding. Crap. All right, well, I guess we're not, we're not getting that artifact yet. Ugh, weak. An orcish witch doctor living in the hut deepens your knowledge of magic by showing you how to cast stones, read portents, and decipher the intricacies of chicken entrails. Plus one to knowledge. Ransacking enemy camp, you find a hidden niche with treasures. Ooh. We found some resources, and uh, we go to the Shrine of the First Circle. It teaches us a first level spell. Come across a small shrine attended by a group of novice acolytes. In exchange for your protection, they agree to teach you a simple spell. Magic Arrow. Very good first level spell. Uh, I'm so upset <laughs> about 
about losing Rialdo and not being able to recruit him again. Message from Archibald, do not dare to return without my crown. Okay. I'm not sure why that message was necessary. <laughs> we know this. We know this already. I wanna build a well. It's day five. And the question is, do I build a mage guild or oh no, I can't afford a mansion anyway. I don't have a I don't have a sawmill yet. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a thieves guild in a marketplace. Actually, I'm going to upgrade the graveyard. But building a marketplace would be smart. So I'm going to do that. Then we can trade crystal for other things we'll need. Crystal and gems, since we have those mines. We get the Hedgehog. All dwellings increase population. That sounds good to me. So we'll recruit some Mummos first. Well... <laughs> Alright, we're going to trade our uh, Crystal and our Gems right now. Or... Some Gold, because we need troops. Is Rialdo available? He's not. Unbelievable. I just can't recruit them. They just won't let me. Well, I'd really, I really want the skeletons, but uh, a horde of centaurs. Where'd they come from? How come there's so many? Yeah, they're gonna shoot us up pretty good. This is a problem. Uh, I'm gonna actually gonna put haste on my mutant zombies for now. Yeah, they're going to be the target of the centaurs first. Uh, I wonder... Eh, I'm just going to do this. I was thinking, I wonder if uh, our mummies can reach. I don't think they can. I should probably should have hasted them. Oh, they can. All right. You can't get to these units down here to stop them from shooting, which is unfortunate. But not the worst thing. Okay. All right. I can live with this. Losing one mummy. Six mutant zombies or whatever. Uh, getting five skeletons back. That's nice. All right, we're out of cash. That's great. Oh, there's an ore mine. We're gonna need. Ooh, zombies. More zombies. Hopefully they join us. <laughs> that would be. That would be ill. Only one other color. It is as I feared. Oh, hey, wood. Wow, I picked up 10 wood on that first one. That's a lot of wood. That's pretty decent. Which means we can build a mansion as soon as we have the gold. It's pretty nice. Mansion gives us vampires. And we like vampires. Trading post is gonna come in handy. Oh, another obelisk. And this looks like dirt and trees, but we need to find... We need to find a, a landmark of some kind in these obelisks. I'm just hoping against hope it's like here. <laughs> but it does not appear to be mansion. Look at that mansion. 
McMansion on the block. Six Mercury. All right, cool. So we're gonna have some Mercury to trade. I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack these sprites, man. Let's just go for it. Oh, I want to recruit another hero. But I don't have the money. Now I have the money. Sandro. Welcome. Just going to wait one... Whoa. One turn, because I want to recruit those skeletons. And then pass them to, to Zom there. Stay seven as well. Jeez, okay. See how hard it is to go through uh, sand? I was pumped to get pathfinding. That's not the right way. That's the right way. This should be fine. I'm gonna magic arrow one. It won't kill the whole stack, I don't think. It did. Wow. They're gonna come after the skeletons? Really? Oh, no. Would have thought it still would have been the zombies or the, the mummies. Okay, there we go. So one hit on the skeletons and the AI thinks that the mummies are the... are the target. Okay. We lost four skeletons. When we get back, three. Okay. Still have basic necromancy. I was, I was hoping it would be more. All right, getting that ore is a pretty big deal. Week of the Badger. All right, great. Sandro, why don't you go learn Magic Arrow? Well, first, go to this. Go to this. You. Continues. Oh, a self for mine. Ransack an enemy camp. Discovered hidden cache of treasures. 400 gold? Nice. Four sulfur. Really good. That's really good. Uh, this temple gives us morale. But we are undead and morale has no... Nothing to do with us. No effect on undead. Alright, so the centaurs are fighting us. I'm going to haste our skeletons. Send them out. Ow. Double ow. We're gonna haste the uh, mutant zombies because I'm pretty sure they'll be able. They won't be able to reach <laughs> if they're not hasted. Yeah, I think I'm right. Uh, yeah. Push them over. I don't think we need to cast any spells. Oh, crap. Uh, maybe we did. I thought haste would have lasted on them. There we go. Serpentine. Serpentine's his way dodging arrows and stuff. <clears throat> Good stuff. Uh, yeah, let's go here first. Um... Let's check on Sandro. Get that knowledge, son. Get that magic arrow, baby. All right, I'm gonna save the game here. I don't want a bad skill. <clears throat> Screw that. <laughs> Yeah, that one gives us Eagle Eye. I hate Eagle Eye. Come across an ornate shrine attended by a group of rotund friars. In exchange for your protection, they agree to teach you a spell. Disrupting Ray! Reduces the defense rate of an enemy unit by three. Really funny. I have never liked that spell. The first time I ever streamed this game, chat told me to use it, and it came in so clutch. Okay, we're going to upgrade the pyramid. All 
All right, let's check out this chest. After scouring the area, you fall upon a hidden treasure cache. You may take the gold or distribute the gold to the peasants for experience. Do you wish to keep the gold? As much as we need gold, I value experience above most other things in this game and in real life. I'm just kidding. Give me bits. <laughs> oh, what a toss up. Oh, do we go for the logistics, which is going to increase our movement by 10% or necromancy? We're going to have plenty of time to upgrade our necromancy, so I'm going to go with logistics now. Oh, another toss up. <laughs> we gain two levels at once. Either learn advanced necromancy or basic estates. I might go with estates. 100 gold pieces per turn. Oh, we're going to have lots of opportunity to get necromancy, so I'm going to go with the states. Mm, it hurts me so much. I love my skeletons. My skeleton. Oh, God. That pained me. I'm in pain. One. That's good enough to go exploring. Andrew, you go this way. Go forth and do great work. Hey, another obelisk. I'd take the wisdom. Scouting is good for a quest like this, because we need to see more of the map, but I gotta learn some spells, man. And I gotta build some mage guilds. All right, show us some kind of landmark, please. Uh, a crack is not really a lamp. By landmark, I mean, uh, like the trading post or a, a sawmill or a mine or something, or, you know, like standing stones. That crack is not, uh, we don't have a crack on our map, do we? Not a vertical one. We got the X crack. Oh, there's a vertical crack, but it's in the wrong spot. We got water next to us. It's right above some trees, which... Oh, this one is. Hang on. But it's over to the left here, and the water doesn't show up until down here. That doesn't really... That doesn't make any sense. Our crack is too close to the water. So it's not over here. Another obelisk. Oh, that's a really good artifact. Minotaur kings are handleable? There we go. Advanced necromancy. Thank you very much. We already know Magic Arrow. <laughs> oh, Leo's telling me to get estates. I'm glad I did then. Alright, dwarf main. They're gonna run away. That's our reward for doing one of the optional quests to delete to defeat the, the dwarves. Catch that VOD on YouTube. Yeah, I don't I have no idea where that is. And some archers up there. Some rangers up here. X for necromancy. The next time I might get the opportunity to learn scouting, I might do it. Hey, come back next week for more. I think I will, if I'm still alive. <laughs> Zom, we got Zam and now we're gonna get Zom. Excellent. And we can upgrade our mansion. That's sick. We are now completely out of money. So let's send him out now. The reason why I'm recruiting heroes is for two reasons. One is this map is pretty big. And uh, having a lot of heroes to cover ground is usually a good idea on a bigger map. Also, when we have even the slightest notion of where the ultimate artifact might be, all heroes are going there and everybody's digging until we find it. We don't have to know exactly where it is before we can guess and start digging. We get the lizard. 
But the problem I'm having is there are no landmarks. They're, they're, these are just not showing me landmarks. I just I want to see something, just know to look out for it, and just be like, oh hey, there's the windmill, or there's the temple. Let's be on the lookout for other clues. Some kind of town over here. Okay. An ancient and immortal witch living in a hut with bird's legs for stilts teaches you luck for her own inscrutable purposes. Morale doesn't mean anything to undead, but luck does. I like luck. We'll keep that. Anime dead. Pretty good. That's really good for us. Resurrects uh, undead units that die in battle. We got a warlock castle here. Ooh, crap. Oh, green dragons, hell yeah. And the witch's brooch? It's a really powerful artifact. Dragons will join us. Again, because of an optional quest we did. Oh, let's save our cash. You know, I could trade it, actually. Let's trade for some stuff. Uh, since I want gold, I'm actually going to take the gold for right now. Guess I'll take the experience. Expert wisdom. Hmm. Wand of negation is not very good. But that's okay. Uh, so we're going to trade some mercury for gold. I want to keep the sulfur for right now. Because I think with the sulfur, we're going to build a mausoleum when we can. Oh my god. Why does a necromancer mage guild give you bless? You can't bless undead. The spell magic is really good, though. We're going to want that. Uh, take the gold again. The dragon, snarling and growling, agree to join your for join forces with you, their ally. Tight. Four green dragons? I like it. Leprechaun offers you the witch's brooch of magic for the small price of 3,000 gold and five crystal if you wish to buy this artifact. Plus three spell power? Yes, I do. You know what? This is kind of a good artifact as well. So I'm going to save the game. Maybe they'll run away. A group of veteran pikemen with a desire for greater glory wish to join you, except I actually am this time. 30 veteran pikemen is pretty good. Stone statue of a warrior holds a silver shield. As you remove the shield, the statue crumbles into dust. Plus two to defense. That's good for us. Nestled among the trees sits a blind seer. After explaining the intent of your journey, the seer activates his crystal ball, allowing you to see the strengths and weaknesses of your opponents. Well, they got Archmagi. They found more obelisks than us, which is really disheartening. Oh, wait. Go there. <laughs> Come on! Alright, let's try again. All right, starting over again. We're so strapped for cash. What do I do? We don't start with any uh, zombies. It's unfortunate. Take the necromancy. Let's just let's not mess around. Let's let's embrace who we are. We get Skelos hold. That's all we care about. Oops. I almost forgot to build something. Build a graveyard. Man, bless. Terrible. It's just awful for us. It's not good at all. We don't want that. Why would you give it to us? Build that skull pile, baby. Oh, 
peasants, eh? Excellent. That's good news for us. All right, not gonna get jumped by rogues this time. I refuse to. Oh, we're gonna have to do this with nothing. But Zombos and Skellamans. Do not dare to return without my crown. Shut up! You and your dumbass crown. Almighty powerful King of Enroth. Ooh, magic arrow! And bloodlust. Pretty cool. Do we start with the haste spell? We do. That's key. That is very important. Alright, so it's day seven. Not really anything else we can build that will help us. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll build the Thieves Guild now. Mm -hmm. Skeletons and zombies are not particu particularly expensive. Which means we can probably afford them without having to worry too much about... Actually, I'm gonna go this way. I'll go get those, uh... I'll go get those peasants in a moment. I'm gonna go get that, that sawmill. Actually, I'm gonna cast a magic arrow. It's my impression. Be good. <laughs> Push him over. I don't think they can kill a mutant zombie. Oh, they're going for the skeletons anyway. All right. So we lost a uh, skeleton, but we should get seven back. Cool. Excellent. Not even gonna worry about it. Let's just go straight for. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's just open up these ways. I'm gonna send my main hero up. Hiya! Fail. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, you go this way. I'm gonna recruit two heroes. Zimzam, Flimplam, and no one yet. But Zimzam, you're gonna go this way. And Sandro, you're gonna go this way. Trying things a little differently. Trying things a little to what is down here? I don't know what that means. Why is it so bright? Group of rogues that desire, desire for greater glory wish to join you. Except sure, actually. I'll take him. Uh, let's drop smeg. Time flies and you're having fun? Absolutely. Purple Jack Black. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Lister of Smeg, welcome back to the chat. Leo's making me laugh. <laughs> um, <laughs> I can't afford another hero, but Crag Hack. Crag Hack is a really prominent character in Heroes of Might and Magic, actually. Pretty famous, pretty famous. Oh, we're gonna have so much wood, my dudes. First, I'm gonna do this. Take the estates. We don't need navigation for this, I don't think. Oh, hey, an obelisk. There's a landmark. Next to some palm trees. Ooh, you know where there's some palm trees? We're down on this beach here. Oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, baby. Oh, hey, more peasants. Um, I don't want to recruit either of you. <laughs> I guess I have to pick the lesser of two evils. I'll actually pick. 
I don't know, actually. Pathfinding, need it. Um, take the gold. Alright, what skill do we get here? Scouting, okay. I'll take it. Death Ripple. So we can't we can't take a horde of peasants with this hero. So we're gonna send him off that way. Yeah, you know I am gonna get. The reason why I went with the sorceress was because uh, I don't have to buy a spell book. She comes with one, whereas Crag Hack would not have. Come with a spell book. Oh man, the skeletons are fighting me. I thought they'd be friends. I thought we'd be cool with each other. I thought they'd see my nice hood and my calm skeletal demeanor and just be like, this guy knows, this guy's on the up and up. He knows what's going on. Oh, these rogues are hanging tough. Surrounded by undead, they're just like, hey, we wanted this. Skip. Okay, now we can sally forth. Could have joined my lesions willingly. But alas, you are fools. Three mutant zombies, a lot of mutant zombies. Uh, you're rolling with the right bone crew, they disapprove? Yeah. Yeah. I forgot, I sent out my main hero specifically to get that sawmill, and I just totally forgot about it. I'm so into finding this art ultimate artifact, you guys have no idea. I don't know where it is. Halfling, so. I forgot to send her to the uh, witch doctor's hut. But that's okay. And, okay, a tent. We recruit nomads. We're starting to see some... Um... Starting to see some landmarks, which is good. Fiending. We're fiending for the ultimate artifact right now. Give it to me. Give it to me at once. Okay, windmill. There's a windmill there. Obelisk down there. We know there's a windmill here. It might be over there, my guys. That would be... that would be dope. Kira's not gonna work. Okay. Uh... Go this way, go this way, go this way. Stop with that well, actually. You. Collect this alchemist lab. We shall need it. And let's train it up. We're gonna give our hero reinforcements. I'm gonna wait a day so I can afford them. And I'll go to Luella first. Oh man, we still can't afford too much. I'll go this way. Maybe we don't need to train it. Alright, so the rogues are fighting us, which is kind of good, actually. Do need more skeletons. Push the stack of eight. Okay, they went again. Because they were hasted, that's right. That makes sense. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, I guess he can hold on to the... I guess he can hold on to the, uh, rogues. You're gonna go to this one, though. Ahead of Sandro. Let's go some stuff out. You're gonna go back here. You're gonna get your own forces. Sweep out the bottom and get those 
Get those dragons. I'm gonna look for more obelisks up here. Dwarf main, run for your lives! That seems like something I have not done yet. <laughs> Alright, there's an obelisk. I'm just gonna go straight for it. Out of movement, okay. Uh, build a mausoleum before I forget. Mm. I see you. What do you got? I could probably take you. Wouldn't be easy, but I think I could do it. Let's take the gold this time. To ore? Kind of chintzy. It's kind of chintzy. Red dragon growth. Hmm, okay. Take the wisdom and the spell power. Oh, ogres, they can join us. Look at the ogres. Ogres do join us. Uh-oh, they attacked us. Oh, 22 nomads is a lot of nomads. Hundred and twenty-six. Hundred and twenty-six halflings. What the shit? I'm not gonna touch the nomads. Our skeletons are gonna get first dibs of the nomads. Two vampire lords. Mm. Oh crap. Oh, this isn't going well at all. have enough gold to surrender. Wow, this is a... This sucks. Ugh, I got six zombies, 17 skeletons. I think I gotta run away. Oh, man. Really bad. And now they're coming for us. That's... That's really shitty. Alright, let's get Sandro back. Uh, we upgrade that mausoleum. I didn't even check to see what spells we got at level 2. Cold Ray, pretty good. Uh, why don't you get your spell points back? The ogres recognize you as the Dwarf Bane and lumber over to join you. That's tight. A little leprechaun dances gleefully around a magic sack, seeing you approach. He stops in mid-stride. Little man screams and stamps his foot ferociously, vanishing into thin air. Remembering the old leprechaun saying, Finders keepers, grab the sack and leave. And the sack of gold, a thousand gold per day. Pretty nice. This mine will also give us a thousand gold per day. Hmm. Well, this is bad news. <laughs> hmm. 
All right, so windmill, obelisk. We're gonna try this, my dudes. Or maybe the obelisk is down here. So windmill, obelisk. Maybe it's like right here. There's another tent though. Ah, uh, maybe it's not here. Why is this so bright? Because it's beach, it's sand. It's beach. It's sand. Maybe it is right there. All right, so the windmill is in like the very corner of it. Maybe like one hectare down or something. Could be right here. Just friggin' try it. <laughs> Just try. I was gonna trade everything I got for cash. We're in a tough spot, my friends. That is for certain. Dig! Nothing here, where could it be? Uh, Nikes. Windmill. Little blemish in the ground. I don't know what this is. Perhaps it's this. Maybe it's right there. I'm going to give it a shot tomorrow. But two days from now. Rock population doubles. Oh, that actually kind of helps us. <laughs> oh, they can. we can go around it. Never mind. <laughs> Man. Yeah. Week two. God, I hope it's there. <laughs> I don't have any other... I don't have any other hope. Please. Try searching on clear ground. You try searching on clear ground. Uh, can I afford anything else? Or anything else to recruit, I should say? Yes, there's plenty to recruit. You silly boy. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this. Waiting for the pending attack, I'm going to sell everything and uh, build a turret. Uh huh. So we're going to get attacked pretty soon. Dig! Ugh. I don't know what this blemish is. I was hoping maybe it was that. But it should be... Here's the windmill. It should be directly under the windmill. It could be that, which means... It would be there? No, no, no. No, 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 no. Because the windmill's not in the total upper right. It's like there. Nope, there. The middle of her screen was right there, I think. Or there. Let's try right there. No, that's too high. That's too high up. Crap. <laughs> I think I need just one more obelisk. I'm gonna try right there. I don't know if that's correct, but that's what I'm trying. Build the other turret. Ruby. Let's 
build that moat. No! Stay away from me! Yes! <laughs> oh my god! That hero was so close to just fucking our lunch up. <laughs> Congratulations after spending many years digging here. Many years, it feels like it. Jesus. Congratulations, after spending many hours digging here, you have uncovered the ultimate crown. Hmm. Feels good. The ultimate crown increases each of your basic skills by four points. You have found the ultimate artifact. Your quest is complete. Our finest hour is upon us. Roland's forces have retreated to the province around his castle, and Roland, the fool, cowers in his summer palace, awaiting our final strike. You have gathered your forces for this final battle. Now go! Crush the rebellion, and bring my brother back in chains. Yeah, we did it. So, we're gonna go back and do Scenario 10, and then after we successfully beat Scenario 10, whenever that may be, I will then move on to uh, scenario 11 from there. Because Thank you all for watching Kelvin's Coin TV. My name is Ross. This has been Archibald's campaign from Heroes of Might and Magic 2. Uh, join us in the next episode when we do scenario 10. See you then. Thanks a lot. Bye now.